Hello, this is Coulter with Fisher Panda. I'll be demonstrating how to bleed your cooling system. Disconnect your battery power and remove the cable from the starter motor. Start by filling your coolant bottle approximately three quarters of the way full and mounting it well above the generator. From here, we'll be bleeding the bleed screws starting with the one on top of the thermostat housing. For this, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for the 10 millimeter banjo bolt. To bleed it, turn it approximately half a turn and let the air bleed out and keep it open until there's nothing but water coming from the screw. Once you're at that point, close the bleed screw. At this point, we're going to go to our secondary bleed point on the back of the heat exchanger. You're going to crack that one open approximately half a turn and bleed until there's no more air coming out. Close that off tight. You'll go back to your coolant bottle and fill it approximately to the max fill line. From here, screw your cap on tight and mount your coolant bottle back onto the bulkhead. Reinstall your DC power to the generator. Start your generator and check for leaks, verifying that the coolant is circulating through the expansion tank. And that's how you bleed a Fisher Panda generator. For more information and further assistance, contact your local Fisher Panda dealer or our service department.